Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today I'll be taking a look at some of the travel apps we have in South Africa and if they are any good. And yeah, let's go straight ahead and I've downloaded a few apps to look at and the first one is just a travel guide that says South Africa with a lion head. Let's see this one first. Triple. Okay, choose from more than 600 national destinations and find the most exciting places in your area. Okay, so this doesn't seem like a South African app, maybe it's just the South African version of this. Plan your perfect trip no matter where you are right now and get ready for your next adventure. Have your travel companion always with you and never get lost again with the trip wolf map. Everything 100% accessible offline. Let's travel. Browse through thousands of reviews of the Tripwolf community and discover the most beautiful places in the world. Okay, this seems pretty cool. Haven't taken a summer trip yet? No problem. Download the Tripwolf app and get one travel guide of your choice completely free with the code TRIPGUIDE. Valid this weekend only. We have some guides for different countries. Here we have Cape Town, the Mountain National Park, Victoria and Alfred Waterfront, Robben Island, Johannesburg, Cape Point, Kira National Park, Boulders Beach, Kurtzenbos National Botanical Gardens, and Franshoek. This seems like the popular places that everyone kind of already knows of. Okay, let's see where have I been. Let's see what, I ha what they have new into. Let's see Johannesburg. We've opened up a free preview of content and features in this version for you. You can upgrade to the full ad-free guide anytime. Upgrade for just $89.99. Okay, I'm not gonna upgrade. What is this? Everything about uh, Africa that stirs the imagination is concentrating on this. Uh, Wolf recommends. Let's see what they recommend. Top destinations Cape Town, Johannesburg, Durban, Pretoria, Hopewood, Elizabeth, Bloemfontein. There's not much to do in Bloemfontein. Don't know why you would go there. Okay, there's a lot more. In this top destination for me. Blade, Hurt Bay, George, East London, Hazy View, and Umschlanga. Okay, so I've been to Mosul Bay, so let's see what they have. You can have a trip planner, attractions, accommodations. You can select anything you need. Let's see attractions. There's one attraction location. Bartlemias Diaz Museum Complex. I've been there, it's pretty cool if you if you like museums. Alright, let's try to find something a bit more inter interesting. Johannesburg, not sure yet. Trip Wolf recommends in Johannesburg. Let's see what they are recommending. I think the cradle of humankind is where the ground tour held one of the episodes. Constitution Hill, Johannesburg, haven't been there. Goldrich City is very fun. If you like adrenaline and roller coasters and things, Goldrich City is definitely a recommend. Okay, so they show you what they recommend and then you can trip planner my south africa trip and then you can plan your trip from here edit let's see you can change the color trip starts on this date and that date and then you can add stuff let's see new trip uh, okay Oh, you have to click on the trip. Trip is empty. Start adding attractions by tapping the Add to Trip buttons on the location detail page. You can also add your own places by placing a pin on the map. Well, okay, so you create your trip planner and then you kind of have to. Let's see if I want to go to Golden City, say. Add to Trip and then you just select my South Africa trip. Oh, that's pretty cool. And then it's added to a trip. You can navigate. Let's see what the map map looks like. Okay, how do I drive? I want to drive. I don't want to walk there, please. Okay, so map's pretty accurate. So I'm moving it around, and it turns as I move the phone. So that's so I can see the direction of it is not that way. No, okay, it doesn't do it that well. How do I actually travel to this? Go drive. Well, okay then. Um, Okay, I have to upgrade to unlock the description, it seems. Opening hours, I give you the website, the address, the telephone number, rates. So, it's a pretty decent app. Um, I think you might find this useful. You can go 
you have to upgrade to get any guides so that sucks and 10 guides for 240 rand so you have to pay per guide uh, it seems okay so the next one is south african travel guide with a flag there are VICs all over South Africa. The friendly staff can offer helpful advice and information to assist you in making the most of your trip to South Africa. You can collect brochures and maps some VICs. What's VICs? Sorry if that's a stupid question, but I don't know what that means. Sell South African guide. Books and also offer services such as making reservations for tours, selling memorabilia. Users app to find visitor information centers and other useful resources that will help you as you tour around our beautiful South Africa. Proceed. Doesn't look too bad so far. Visitor information centers. Thing, find things close to me. Attractions or activities, tours, guides, guide to South Africa, transport, accommodations, safety and emergency info. And then you have favorites and tools. This doesn't look that bad actually. Visit the information center, it's fine thing. Okay, it's the same menu, just a slide one. Some photos displaying at the top. Let's see, find things close to me. Allow. Nearby sites. 31. Oh wow. Let's see what what are they? Olympus game reserve. Something in Siena color as well. Library. Okay. That's just Fixburg. I don't know why that is. The site. Steam trains at Sandstone Estate. Also Clarence that is nearby is a pretty nice attraction um, which you can visit. What is this in the middle of nowhere? Wilmanzook Private Game Reserve. Okay, I know that place at least. Nearby sites? Pretty cool. Attractions and activities, what are they saying? House Lodge, Air Jaws, Seal Korean Restaurant, 12 Decades, Johannesburg, some monuments. Shy Fire Safari, you can go to the Eastern Cape, Abseiling, and then you can go to Ado Elephant Park. Yeah, I'd say this app is free, it's so and it shows all the attractions even nearby. You can search, there's some tourist guides, and then there's a guide to South Africa, your capital, political system, economy. Okay, so this is everything you, you can actually get. Let's see what they say about the political system. Since the first post-apartheid elections in 1994, South Africa has had a democratic government. Okay, and there's our currency. Here's rent. Population. You can also get some transport. And you can just read through here. Okay, there's some some contacts at the bottom where you can call the airports and so accommodation okay so i show you okay, they also just give you the contact information no photos or anything of the sort so you can just find it here maybe and go and google it to see if you can find more and then there's safety and emergency info which is also just a long paragraph and important phone numbers at the bottom and then a picture of some policemen on bikes interesting okay so if you want to know what is near you and you don't want to pay to plan your trip and so you can you can use this app i think pretty reliable okay now there's also a tourist guide i don't know what what would be different than the tourist guide but let's see Tourist guiding in South Africa is a regulated profession with more than 8,000 guides registered across all provinces and attractions, specializing in nature, cultural and or adventure guiding. As a department of tourism, we urge tourists to use this app to find registered tour guides who will help you enjoy your visit to a beautiful country. Okay, well, so this literally just gives you the tour guide that you also can find on the other app. So you can search by province, attractions, it's just the same. So these apps are pretty similar. I would actually go for the travel guide, the normal travel guide. It seems to be better than the tourist guide. There's another app, South Africa Travel. Let's see what we've got here. Cheapest flight, cheapest hotel, South Africa.net. 
Doesn't seem like a great app. Let's see, cheapest hotel. And it opens a web page, it seems. So this only refers you to websites. Okay, so the next one, if you like to camp, this might be the app for you. www.caravanparks.com you have your resort rating, business, rentals, products, classifieds, clubs, forums, and news. Find a job you love, then you will never have to work again. Resort search. Okay, so you can go and select what province you want to go camping. There's even neighboring countries. And you can look at their campsites. Okay, so let's go to preset campsites. Let's see if I can find something nearby. Not the best app, it's kind of confusing. You can go to one and can you click on it? Details. Okay, and then it gives the details. It's the resort type, what accommodation is available, and some facilities and ratings. Ablution is a four. I assume this is out of five, yes. Sites, leisure, security, and value. Pretty nice information to have before you go. There's 33 stands. And you can see photos as well. Yeah, this is this isn't bad, I must say. This is the ablution rocks. Accommodation, facilities, wild animals. I, I like this. I like that you can go to a resort and see the details, ratings, photos of specific things. So if you want to know what the the bathrooms and ablution blocks looks like. You can just go there. There's some news. Don't know if they have been in the news. Okay, so there was a, a fire, it seems. And there's a map as well. Used to finish. Okay, so you actually use Google Maps, which is great. You can use this and have no problem at all. So they show you a little caravan there and. And full out resort. That's pretty cool. Quite a good app. I, li I like this. Okay, Zumatu. Let's see what this app does. Zumatu view menus, photos, and reviews for restaurants around you. Explore detailed theme based lists of top places in your city. Add places you want to visit in the future to your bookmarks. Okay, all places. Let's show you some places with photos. You can see nearby. Cafe Moulin and Clarence. You see, you can clearly see that Clarence has the most attractions according to this app Clarence 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 and then you can see the rating and what's so what happens when I tap it oh you can see I've been here and then you can tap the little feet probably goes to your menu then you can bookmark it you can add a review or you can add your own photos that's that's nice you have the menu. That's pretty nice, actually. And you can see the menu before you go. This gives you valuable information. I really it tells you the opening hours and 3.2 based on 15 reviews. So wow, well, this this app also gives you the information you need, which is pretty cool. Like their own Twitter slash Instagram type thing built into the app. You get points for your reviews and then you become a top foodie it seems. Okay, so the next two, if you are into wildlife and animals, these are two apps from the Creer National Park. Okay, very quick load in. Then it kind of gives you photos of all the animals it seems. There's a leopard, you have a photo of that. And then you can add it to your checklist, which is pretty, that's nice. Okay, and there's your checklist. And then you can type in a, per, a species you want to search for. You see African leopard added to my checklist. If you go and visit uh, the Korea National Park, you can even go and look for some frogs if you like that. Some pretty interesting lizards. I have on here. It gives a lot of information about the different animals. Uh, the wildlife experience index is a relative measure of how fortunate you are to, 
with sightings for the day. This is based on the sightings you have added to your checklist. This WEI is a number based on the conservation status of an animal. It's difficult to identify traditional importance and tourist value. Okay, it's a pretty cool app. Um, I like it. It's a nice app, I think, to have. And there's also Career Insects, which I think is pretty much the same, except you don't have a checklist. And the last app is just Africa with the plane flying around. Okay, let's see. Upgrade to World Travel Guide or Flying for Guides to the whole world with larger photos. Stay safe, get around, get in, understand other destinations, regions. I don't like this app very much. So you can't really get in any information on this app, so I would definitely not recommend this Africa app. Um, yeah, it looks pretty basic and not a lot of useful info. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope hope this helped you in any way. Uh, if you have any questions or any other apps that I might have missed that are better than any of these, uh, just comment it down below. And yeah, please subscribe if you want to. I do appreciate it. And yeah, have a nice day.